Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games, and today it's back into our Let's Play of Gary Grigsby's War in the East 2. We are battling the Soviet bear and the men in the machine called the AI. Hey, David Bartello. Hello, John Chapel. Hello, Peter Kloss. How are you all? Thanks for dropping by. On this Saturday morning for me, Saturday afternoon or evening for you, uh, we've got a lot of work to do in this turn. Uh, we are now kind of past the midpoint of July. It is July 19th, 1942, as you see up here. Turn 57 of our uh, ongoing game here <laughs> as we try to close a massive pocket in the center that uh, someday will be taught in all military textbooks. Uh, it's much like uh, Napoleon at Austerlitz, right? We, we let them come through the center and then we close the doors behind them. At least I hope. At least I hope. Uh, hey, Kalo, how are you doing? Uh, hi, Battle and Geezer. Glad you stopped by. Good morning to you. Um, first of all, I'm going to start off today just by going around and looking at our air assets. I know that, you know, it's not as exciting as moving the Panzers, but we've got to make sure we've got them set up okay. <clears throat> I think, sorry, I'm a little, excuse me, hold on. All right, now I'm back. Uh, now I'm back. Um, hey, Ifler and Andre, how you doing? Um. We're going to move, go around and look at the air assets. We're going to make sure we've got everything set up, especially in the south. Uh, I think we need to move our fighters up. Uh, our fighters are... Uh, you're waiting to pick up a bride from Bi Bible study, Kalo. All right. Uh, well, I hope she's already your bride. I hope you're not just uh, dropping by Bible study to find one. Uh, <laughs> I, I assume I assume it's your, your wife already. Um Okay, let's go look at our air assets, uh, but before we do that, let's actually look in the reserves, see what we have in the reserves we could potentially bring out. Uh, while I'm looking at this, I also wanted to say, <clears throat> Frago had put in the comments something about uh, refit, and I just wanted to talk about it for a second. He brought up a very good point, and it is true that even if you have units on refit, if they're right next to enemy units, they won't actually refit. Uh, they're taking attrition, and that you can't get you know the stuff in to refit, or at least <clears throat> not as well as you can if you have them pulled back on a depot or if you have them stacked with the headquarters. So yes, Frago, that is absolutely correct. Uh, now, as you guys know, like I did at the end of last turn, I kind of, during the live streams here, I just do it with a blunt instrument. Basically anything that's under 50, I put on refit and... You know, I probably should be a little more careful with it if I was playing someone in a play by email and actually sitting there and really taking my time. Uh, I would go through each one and, and as things wear down, take them back off the line, put them in reserve uh, if you want, or you can just take them back off the line, stack them with the headquarters, put them on a depot, and yes, they will refit much, much faster. Uh, but... <clears throat> You were correct about that. If if a unit's right next to an enemy unit, it does putting it on refit does not matter. Okay, um, that that was my TED talk for today. We've got a lot of transport aircraft that are back here that I'd like to get on the map if we can. I say a lot. We've got seventy. Looks like about a hundred and ten uh, between these three units here. We've got some recon. I'm not sure we need more recon. We're going to run some recon this time just because I want Anthony to be happy. Uh, we've got some level bombers back here, approximately around 100 of them. I'm not sure we need to bring them out yet. I'd like to keep some things in reserve just in case. We've got some uh, tactical bombers here. Let's, uh, let's keep that back here, too. We've got two groups of fighter bombers in the reserves. I think I'll bring one of these out onto the map this time. 
Um, but let's go see. So this is JG53, just so I remember what it is. Uh, I thought JG53 is already on the map, so we may have to go look for that. It looks like this is part one of JG53 or, you know, squadron one of group of JG53, however you want to put it. All right, well, I guess this is a group of in and of itself. Um, anyway, it's unimportant. Let's go look around and see where our our planes are at the moment. We've got transport transport group north here, and we've got transport group south down here. Um, <clears throat> as I said, we've got quite a bit of transport planes. There's no reason to be saving transport planes, not really. Uh, you know, unless you think for some reason you're really going to need them more in 1943 than you need them in 1942. We could put some of them out here. We could put some in Riga, potentially. But where do we need transport planes? Well, it's where our panzers roam, right? So we really need them, you know, kind of uh, kind of where we have them in some respects. But we may put some... <clears throat> Gosh darn it. Uh, how about here? Let's, let's bring an AOG in from the reserve. And... Well, now I may have to go look and see what the name of that dang one was. Okay, let's go look at it. To click that off, click it back on. Transport. This is KGR ZBV 102. Okay. KGR ZBV 102. And I could put that. Uh, do, 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 do. I could put it in, like, Orsha. Why not? We should control Orsha for a while. I could also put it back here at one of these. Now, they're going to have to go pick up freight somewhere, and I usually like to bring them from back to front, so I could put, a, you know, more of them down here. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just put them in here at Konigsberg. Um, there we go. Uh, 102. Let's do that. He'll be in Luftlatte 1, that's fine. And let's put him on the map. All right, so we'll put one here. We'll actually maybe just go ahead and, yeah, transport group north. Maybe we'll just go ahead and put the other one down in Odessa. Get off the news. My The news popped up on my machine. There we go. Um, we'll put the other one, I guess, down in Odessa. Uh, it would only let us bring that down here. Okay. Well, let's go back. <clears throat> I don't think we want to put it in Warsaw. That could that could be dangerous at this point. Uh, shoot. You know what? I'll just put it... This one in here as well. Uh, ready, 27. That might be too many. So let's do multiple air bases. And we'll transfer that. <clears throat> And we've got some more transport aircraft out here. Okay, excellent. Now let's think about those fighter bombers and where we want them and where we have everything else. I guess I need a drink. I'm having a hard time talking today for whatever reason. <clears throat> See you, Kalo. Have a good one. <laughs> Paradrop. Yes, the Paradrop. Uh, okay, so we've got KG-51 up here. That's fine. It doesn't seem like the Soviets are running very many aircraft out here. They're helping with some of the bombing on the ground support. We're only doing ground support. <clears throat> As I move around here, we've got KG-53 here. We've got KG-1 way back here. I'm not, I'm not sure if it needs to be this. Well, that's fine. He could be helping with that. KG-1, sure. We've got recon aircraft here. That's good. Uh, the fighters, we've got JG-51 back here. I actually think we'll take this <clears throat> and we'll move it, you know, up to these three air bases, however it wants to go. Eh, it's going to kind of spread them out to all three. I'll go ahead and transfer immediately um, because I want to get them up to the front for any help that we need up here. 
Uh, and we'll just keep moving them up. JG51 here now, JG3. Those are our fighters. These are the Stukas. Now, we could also bring those a little further forward, potentially up to these three bases as well. But maybe I'll do that next time because we're going to need to get more support up there. So let's just leave that as is. They've got a pretty decent range. Let's do range circles and see. Well, I said that and I was wrong. Okay, uh, let's move them up then. And we'll put them up at, you know, one of these four bases, at least for now. Uh, transfer immediately. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> now they're a little closer to the front. Uh, we got those there. As we come around here, we may want to put fighter bombers around here somewhere. We've got bombers back here at uh, Vilnius. So that's good. We've got fighters here at Minsk. Excellent. And then out here, we don't have a whole lot. Now, the problem is we're under a lot of pressure back over here as well. So question whether we really want to have a whole lot back here. We've got the Hungarian fighters, of course, uh, the third Hungarian bomber regiment. Excellent. Um, Yeah, if I wasn't a little worried about Warsaw, I'd put some stuff in Warsaw. But instead, maybe we'll put it down here by Krakow. Uh, that's one place we could be. We've also got Germans down here. We could put it in here, or we could bring it around the corner. Now, if we look here in the south, we've got fighters down here. Okay. Uh, question whether we should have them so far down here to the south. I think we need to bring them up here a little closer to the north. Now, we took over Zytomir, which has a really nice air base to it. So let's actually transfer them to Zytomir. Uh, yes. All right. So now they're up here. JG-77. So those are our fighters again. Uh, the Italian fighter group. Maybe we'll transfer that over this way. Uh, but where? Well, I would hope to blow some of this back a little bit. <clears throat> we could also put it in Lavav or back here. Let's do it. Eh, actually, I want it closer to the Italians. Sure. We'll put it back over by Wa Warsaw. Immediate. And then hope like hell uh, we hold on to Warsaw. All right. So the Italians are over here with their guys. And as a matter of fact, why don't we put that in uh, Luftwaffe KDO East as their command. There we go. All right. So the Italians and the Hungarians are together here. Uh, we've also got uh, some Hungarian bombers back here. I think that's what those are. Uh, actually, they look like recon aircraft. Okay. Um, NAGR-1 and NAGR-2. Fine. NAGR-3. Those are all recon. KG-28, this should be fine. It's got a huge range, so they're okay. We've got fighters there. We just... Stukas. Fighters, we just moved up. These fighters, I may want to move into Kiev, although I think maybe what we'll do is bring in air groups from the reserve. Let's look over here. We'll take off select all, and we'll just do fighter bombers. <clears throat> We've got, these are our two groups of fighter bombers, JG-53 and ZG-2. Let's bring in one of those, JG-53, We'll transfer it onto the map. Okay. Awesome. That'll be there in next turn or the turn after. So we've now got them into Kiev. Uh, the rest of these with fighters here, Stuka's there. Uh, that all looks fine. We got long range bombers there and here. We also could put some fighters up in this area. I don't want to use all the fighter bombers, but maybe we will. Uh, let's do that. Let's bring these fighter bombers in. And we'll transfer that. All right. They'll be here in a turn or two. 
Excellent. Uh, I think that other than that, uh, I think for the air, that's fine. And then the only other thing I really wanted to do, because as I said, I want to make Anthony happy, is we're going to run some recon out this way. I mean, this is where we're trying to get to, right? Let's see what's out here. We may as well. So let's go to recon, a recon directive. We can do it with both Luflata 1 and Lufla. Whoa, let's get the, uh, well, that's fine. I'll leave the range circles on. I don't really, that's a lot of range circles. Uh, let's start, I don't know, let's start right there in the center. Uh, we'll take our flight path just through our territory. There's no reason to fly over the Soviets if we don't have to. So we'll just bring it down this way, straight out of Minsk, it looks like. We'll make this uh, high, very high priority, auto, uh, let's see, interdict. That's what we want. We want to know where things are. I guess we could also put units on here as a three or a two. And then let's do the area as like a four. Okay, that <clears throat> that looks all right. And then from Luflata four, we'll do another one out in this area. Okay, so let's just confirm that. Probably going to lose some planes and it'll make me mad, but that's all right. Uh, get off that. Then we'll go back to recon. Oh, I don't want it to be on Luflata 1, though. Hold on. Get off that. Okay, get off Luflata 1. There we go. And let's go down to Luflata 4. And now we'll do a recon. All right. <clears throat> And this one we'll do, so we did the other one like up here. Let's do this one. Oop. Let's do this one here, here. Ah, there's fine. Okay. Uh, we don't want to fly over the Soviets if we don't have to. But in this case, hmm, we could fly all the way around this way. Yeah, let's do that. So we're flying over our own troops. We'll minimize flak that way. We'll do interdiction and units. We'll do an area of four. Whoop, not message level four. Uh, a four. I just hit the button four because... <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted four. Nope, you got to do it there. There we go. Um, okay, so we'll run some recon there. Interdiction. Uh, let's back off that altitude. I'll have to go check the other one. I think generally pretty much from what I can tell in this game, you want to fly everything at 9,000 feet so you don't get what's called side flak from the hexes next to it. Uh, that all looks good to me. We'll confirm that. But now that makes me want to go back. So we'll get off that. And let's go back to Luflata 1. Let's look at this recon directive. Just want to make sure they're going to... Yeah, they're at 9,000 feet already. Okay, let's run recon. Let's do it. Uh, we'll just kind of look at it this way. Run our air directives. Yes, everything else is ground support, obviously. And we'll start seeing these guys fly up here very quickly, certainly. So we've run 46 sorties. We lost two planes. The Soviets lost three trying to interdict us or trying to, you know, they've got cap up or whatever the case may be, interception. All right, we're getting a little information. We're seeing more units down here than we certainly knew existed. We're seeing some stuff up this way. Oh, okay, it's filling in units here. All right, Anthony, I, I like it. I like it. Hey, what's up, Lucas? How are you? Poor Hungarians. Those poor Hungarians. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've, it's, it's been their general here. I've really left them out to dry. All right, so we did recon. We actually see now quite a bit more stuff out here than we saw before. We see a few things back here. It was well worth four planes to do that. So, okay, uh, I liked recon this time. All right, let's start up at the Narva line. 
And speaking of looking at things, this time around the map, we're going to try to look at every counter as we go through. Make sure the headquarters are good. Make sure if something's on refit, that it should be on refit so on and so forth. All right, so let's start at the Narva line. We've got 58th and 258th Infantry Divisions. They're both in 50th Corps. They look fine. They've been sitting here forever. Let's uh, turn fort levels on. They're sitting in a fort level three. There's been no attacks out here. Now, we could try to hit the Soviets there, potentially. But, eh, we're all right. 126th ID, these guys look good. Everything's fine. They're well rested. We get down here into 42nd Corps. Again, nowhere to go, nothing to do. They're just hanging out. They're just hanging out. Now, as we get down here, one thing I was going to do, it doesn't seem like the AI is wanting to come across the land bridge. This seems to have stopped that a little bit. Uh, what I wanted to do is take this unit here, the Moscow Luftwaffe Jaeger Regiment, and I'm going to put them in Peskov. All right. So we don't have that problem where he runs over here and, you know, uh, gets rid of our depot because obviously that became a problem and uh, luckily somebody uh, gosh I forget who saw this again uh, saw that our depot got disrupted at Peskov and the rail got cut well we just fixed it so now this rail unit now that we've fixed that where do we need to go next uh, we could come up here, but I don't really see in much of a point in that. Where we're going to need it is down here in the center as we start to take, a, hopefully, a lot of this back. So let's get this rail repair unit heading down here. We could probably even rail him, right? Let's put him on the rail, or at least move him there. Now turn on the rail and see how far, yeah, we can get him down here. All right, so I'm going to put him off here around Vitebsk or Pilat. Let's turn this on again. All right, so it's going to be all down in here. So the further we go, the better. All right, take the rail off. Let's just rail that rail unit down here, and next turn we'll get him off the train. I don't think he can get off the train here, right? Nope, doesn't have enough. Needs 100 strategic unless you're in a place that has a, a big rail yard. Um and we're going to start repairing all of this rail that we can. We'll also need something back here, obviously, to, to do the same. Okay. Let's go back to movement. So this guy, if, if they do come through here, I'd rather him go north than south. So I'm actually going to put him in that hex. So if they come out and they want to go this way, we'll react to it. But I just don't want him to come down and go this way. So there is that. Now, as we get here into 18th Army, we've got the one German division. I want to shuffle this a little bit and kind of change it up. Um, he seems to be dropping back here a little bit and maybe moving those forces around this way. Um, I actually want to switch places here and put the German over here with his guys and we'll just let the Finns really take care of the defense of Peskov. Now, we could start trying to move out a little bit, you know, such as this attack. So we've got 23rd Corps. 23rd Corps has his support units, or he should. Three artillery, three flak, construction and warfare. Let's see what else is back here to grab. Well, not a whole lot. We've pretty much doled out all the support units so let's just try this attack and see well okay we move him eh, pretty even battle even though it was 14 and a half to one we could start trying to move out i'm not sure if i i like that idea or not yet um but i do like hitting this but let's look back here this is valor he's got artillery flak a stug pioneer warfare looks good and let's hit this airborne unit, and that just flies out of here, shattered all 1,866 men and 25 guns. Okay, um, now then, as we move down here, let's attack into this if we can. Get no, no joy there, 1.6 to 1, but it ends up being a pretty even battle. 
uh, he was a lot stronger than he represented. Now we don't have enough movement points to, to get this guy. We should have plenty of zone of control so he doesn't move through here. Or if he does, it would only be to here through rough terrain. That should be fine. Um, nothing to do with this guy. I'm not going to attack into this. I believe that's a rifle core. No, it's just a rifle division. Okay. Uh, I can't see the X's on top. If you're ever just playing the game by yourself, you can tell a rifle core because it's got three X's on top. A division has two. Um, hmm. Well, all right. Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot to do here. Now, we could move this around. Uh, you know, we don't have kind of the ideal spacing right here that I like to have. I'll probably keep these two together because this looks like his strongest unit. But if we're going every other hex, we could actually move this around. Let's just go ahead and do that. So we'll move him around. Uh, let's get Von Chapuy over here, get him next to the river. He can have a nice moonlight cruise out there. Uh, 5, 16. All right. So we can maybe scoot some of these, start scooting, scooting again. Um, although, I mean, he's got a decent amount of strength here. Let's go ahead and move him there. But he's really massed here. And if we look, it's two rifle divisions. Let's go ahead and take this unit from 26th Corps move it in there, and then we're going to take these two, three divisions, and try to blow that out of there, and we do. 35-32 on the losses there. We only lost 26, uh, 267, I should say. Uh, can they get over there now? No, we can't. So next turn, we'll continue the scooch. Uh, this guy's just kind of hanging out out here. I mean, it, it seems like he's completely dropped back. Although he's probably here. I mean, the minute I don't really want to cross the river unless I'm truly planning to do something offensive. I just don't think, you know, I mean, what's the point? He steps across, he comes back. Uh, okay, let's go see. <laughs> yep, sure enough. I knew he had something out here. Uh, and he does. We just step right back into our fort. That's fine. He's fine just sitting here. Let's uh, do the old nutcracker here. And we blow that out of there. Wow, 683. Look at that. So he loses 6,883 men and 82 guns. He also loses two fighters. My guy Theobald Liebs out here. Just, you know, he's just pointing fingers and making the world turn. Uh, he only loses 82 men. All right. Uh, Hitler is pleased with that. Uh, out here... This is kind of an interesting... He's starting to mass up here by Smolensk. This is a very weak unit, or appears to be. It's only got 84-21 on men. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of concerned here. Now, he would have to go across the river, but part of the reason I'm starting to scooch is I'd like to give him some help. Um, I could also give him some help you know, with one of these divisions and drop one of these back. Um... But his he's got a guard's rifle core right there, which I'm tempted to attack with all five of these divisions. Um, just to smoke it out of there if we can. Let's do it. Let's try to hit this. So we hit it with five divisions, and we knock it back. We basically got two to one losses there, so we knock him back. He'll come right back up here, but I just kind of wanted to knock him out of there a little bit um this guy i am going to scoot back one hex i think this guy's fine in a level two fort now he's going to come back up here but i wanted to knock him on his heels and i think we did that now then we've also got some armor here and it's a tank core so the 13th tank core is up here we got to watch that that's a strong unit now as soon as we complete this pocket, we'll be able to scrunch up here to the north with 4th Army. That'll be helpful. Uh, okay, let's take him. Or do we take something over here? How about this division? 
just the one division, not all three. We're going to attack into that, and we scoot him out of here, uh, just knock him back again as we're just kind of playing a defensive shell game here. Now these two divisions, I think I'm just going to hold. I, I, I'm i tempted to attack into that, but he's got a tank core and a rifle division. Now they're not showing as much strength as you would think for a tank core and a rifle division. So actually it's probably more than what we're even seeing. I'm also worried the tank core could get through here through this zone of control. So we gotta be careful. Uh, at some point I'd like to move one of these out of here and maybe I can do that when we do the, the rest of the scooch. Uh, what do we have here? We're showing two rifle divisions. Mm. Starting right here, I'm going to come back to these guys because we're going to start moving things down here. We can start moving parts of 4th Army kind of northeast to start pushing out towards Bryansk uh, potentially. So let's go back over here and then we'll come back around the horn here at some point. Um, Wow, I really need to go all the way over here to Minsk, <laughs> to be honest with you, to do this right, I think. I think we need to work backwards, so let's try to do that. All right. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is get these lined up every other hex. And you can see we've also got something from 10th Corps. Now, this is 11th Corps in the gold. Uh, so 11th Corps in the gold... And they're going to have to, you know, take out some of this. But let's see what. I think what I'll do is leave the more yellowish guys back here. So let's take them, these two. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's do all three divisions. I think we're going to need it because we've got a full rifle core in here. And we really want this to surrender on one shot. Okay, well... He lost 7,000 men, and he just retreated. Okay, uh, sure. Uh, let's take the gold guys and get them moving down this way then. Um, he's going to be here, so we'll need somebody there. So let's put that gold guy right there. All right. Now we've got this guy. Let's bring him around. Every other hex, what we're going to try to do here, or are these the guys that should go, nah, these guys will leave up here. Um, okay, so now we're going to bring this guy here. All right, and now, so now we could build this whole kind of pocket out here with infantry for the most part. Let's look at this one more time. Gold, gold, gold. Okay. He can come here and he can go all the way down here because eventually we're going to want this to be our front line anyway. But question, do we need to get out quite that far? And would I rather bring something over here? And I think I'm going to bring it over here, to be honest. All right. So let's bring this guy there and this guy there. So now they've got the inner wall back here anyway covered. I may even move them further out, depending what I do with these guys. But let's move these guys forward. Uh, he's still got a deliberate attack left. He does not, and I would actually rather him be in here. Okay, let's move this guy forward. All right, let's do a deliberate this way. And let's do it across, even though it's across the river, let's just get rid of him. Okay, 6570. So that guy goes ahead and surrenders. Um, now then. Let's hit that unit. He surrendered. Okay, that was a rifle corps. So 26,000 men surrender 265 guns excellent uh can he move yeah he can still move another one and we're gonna have the those guys come down into this area uh let's try to hit that 
All right, that surrenders. That's another 5,400. Now we're going to bring these guys down here to help fill the line down here. Um, we'll bring this guy here. And we'll bring this guy... I guess he can make it all the way to here if we want him to. And cover some space. Let's do that. We'll bring him all the way down here. Now we got to make sure nothing is really left in here. I think there may still be a yeah. There I thought there might be a few units in there. Is he out of command now? Yeah. All right. Let's move the commander down. Now let's hit that. Hope he surrenders. He does. That's fifty three seventy. Then we've got more. Let's move him. That's fine. We can cover this with the with our with other guys. So let's move him here. Hit that. All right. So that surrenders. That was twenty six hundred left there. So these two guys will get down on the line next time. Um. Okay. Let's go look and see how things are going here. Current turn, we're up to one hundred and seven thousand Soviets that. Pretty much all of them have surrendered at this point. At this point, um, okay. So moving around, moving around here. Let's attack into Mogilev. Yeah, I think so. Uh, first of all, let's attack this way. Okay, that surrenders. So that's thirty-eight fifty-eight. He's with this group. So he does one attack. Hold on, what's underneath here? Okay, that's a motorized. So every other hex would be there. Well, I tell you what, though. I'm going to go ahead and just attack there. And try to get rid of that. Okay, the cavalry goes. 3461 there. This guy's got a lot of movement points left. I, I'll use him to clean up some of these hexes. Uh, potentially. All right. Let's do an attack all three into Mogilev because I want to make sure he gets gone. Okay. He surrenders. So that was 7,000 men. Put this guy there. Okay. So now we're lined up every other hex. These guys will come to the line next time. And I've still got this unit back here. He could attack from here. All right. We'll do it this way. I'm not sure if that was perfect, but now he surrenders. So that's another 6,000. Okay. And let's try to make sure nothing else is out here and clear some hexes if we can. If we can't do it with that, we may bring this motorized. He can't get particularly far anyway. We may bring him around or over here. I think they must have something else left out here. So let's bring this motorized over here. Just make sure we've got the pocket cleared. Yeah, there we go. There was one guy left. Let's hit that with the hasty. He surrenders. Uh, 40, 50, 96 AFVs in that. And I think that should clear the rest of the Soviet hexes. There we go. Okay, uh, great. And I'll just bring this unit up. I don't know. Let's put him on the road. We're going to want him going towards the pocket. So let's put him on the road. Now, again, thinking every other hex, like I like to do it, we've got motorized out here. For infantry, I guess we'll have two hexes here, but where's he going to go? You know, we've, and that's part of the reason I moved this over here as well. Um, let's start with motorized that's the furthest away. Now, I was going to drive these guys down this way. <sighs> I think maybe I'm going to bring them around to the pocket uh, and help with pocket integrity. I know you guys love pocket, pocket integrity. Um, oh, I have a whole other infantry unit here 
Okay, well, we were going to work back up here, so let's just do it. Let's put this unit here, and let's take this unit from fourth and move it north. Uh, how far, though? Well, let's put him in right there. Because this is in another core. There's his core up there. Now, I was worried about that uh, bit, you know, this, this core that's there. I think what I'd like to do is double stack from the same core there. Move him there. Move him there. And then I've also got now a free core and I'm going to move him across the river and maybe we can start pushing here uh, towards towards Bryansk uh, and this also consolidates this up a little bit stronger um, and you know I'm not quite as worried about this area as we double stack along the way here all right uh, as a matter of fact let's go ahead and move this guy across uh, what is this it's a rifle it's just a division so it says, because we want to start moving east as soon as we can. So let's get there. Let's also look for potential attacks along here. I could try to attack there. Let's try it. Okay, it was one of those amphib units, uh, 473 on that. Uh, I don't think we can really attack anywhere else. This would be across the river. I don't love it. Uh, until we get all organized here. We've got these guys every other hex looking good. Second army, and we got a lot more coming. I think we'll start trying to push down this way towards Gomel with, the, with big parts of that second army. We've got this motorized stuff that can start coming around the corner. Now we've got infantry there, infantry there. Let's actually just put him right in the middle out here. Um... This guy will just replace maybe, or you know what? I'm going to do something here. I'm going to put him there, there, I think I've figured out how to save Warsaw. Uh, and someday I'll be called the savior of Warsaw. Uh... <laughs> Finally cleared the pocket, Nord. Yep, we did it. We did it uh, with, with very able help from the general staff, certainly. Um, the way I'm going to do it is I think I'm going to take this core next turn and replace on the line here. And I may take this entire core here and move it around uh, into the Warsaw area because I'm gonna need some help to clean up the, you know, if we can make this pocket, I'm gonna need some help cleaning it all up anyway. We'll see though. Um, all right, let's take this motorized unit and bring it here. All right, so he goes in there We've got this back here. Oh, he can go there. Excellent. That's where I want him. Um, just to try to keep this as wide as we can. We've got motorized and infantry here. Before I forget, I'm actually going to move this infantry around. Oh, he's still got enough points. Excellent. Uh, let's move this infantry around. All right, let's move this infantry. We're going to scoot everything over to try to get down and start helping Warsaw to the extent we can. We can also cut uh, some distances by moving forward here or there. I'm going to try to hit this with just this one division. Not sure if that's going to... Okay, we did get him to step back. That's good. So that's 1,180 men. All right. Uh, headquarters. Let's get you down here. Hey, I made it three wide, guys. Look at that. The headquarters is through. Uh, and we've still got yet more motorized back here. They need him on this side. Eh, for, for now, let's put him down here. I've got all the motorized on the east side. Let's just keep him over here. 
I'm tempted to attack something. Can he do it deliberate? Oh, he can. He's still got 18 movement points left. But he loses them very quickly as he gets in the swamp. We're not on a road. We might be best to, to cut this way and get on the road. Uh, let's hit this with the motorize and see if we can move him. We can't. Uh, that's going to build up some delay points. Okay. I mean, we're just trying to get right here. So really, we need to hit that unit. Um, I say just as if it's going to be easy. 5 and 45. So let's drive this motorized straight down here. Like I said, I mean, we really need to get on a road, but I... You know, we got to take what's given us a little bit. Let's try to hit that unit. Yes, we blow that out of there. Uh, can we scoot him over? Damn it. I was hoping to get into that hex. So we've got a nice, really nice line there if we could have, but we can't. All right. Everybody's in command there. Oh, wow. Even he's in command. All right. Excellent. Now we've got all of these pans or items that are split up we may have we may want to keep it that way i'm not oh we still got totenkopf left totenkopf wants to get into the action uh he actually can get into this hex i think i'm gonna need him over here though let's start him right there why is he going back to Second Panzer Army? Let's not do that. We'll have to. We'll put him into Fifty Seventh. Fifty Seventh will be a little oversubscribed, but so be it. All right, let's go to Fifty Seventh Panzer Corps. Uh, okay, and let's try a deliberate attack there. Yeah, we blow that out. Uh, very nice. Seventeen O One. And now let's widen even more. Wow, this is just beautiful. This is like the Autobahn out here. Um, anyone else? Anyone else? Well, we still got a lot of Panzers back here, so let's get those boys flying. We could bring him this far. He could also go down in here. I'm not sure why we would right into the middle of the swamp, but we could. All right. Tip of the spear with this Panzer Division. And then this Panzer Division doesn't have quite as many movement points. And I think, okay, that'll be every other hex. I think he needs to go about like right there. Okay. Now we've got this Panzer Division. This is the one I just moved, right? Yeah, he can go a little further. Or he could even start cutting. Eh, I don't, we don't need to do that, I don't think. Um, let's put him there, because this one doesn't have that many movement points. And I'll put him there. Okie dokie. Uh, now we've got 23rd Panzer. It's getting us where we want to go. He could cut across this way. I'd love to get over to this road, but I don't... F well, I don't know. Do we have enough movement points with one of these guys? Yeah, we do. He'll only have eight there. We could try to hit that, but I, I'm really trying not to attack at all if we don't have to. He gets there with 23 movement points left. Oh, I see. That's why we couldn't go any further. Okay, where are your dudes? Um, he would have 10 left. Interesting. I think let's put this Panzer Division back together. So we've made it to the river now. Let's put these guys back together. We don't really know what that is yet. Uh, we've got a whole nother Panzer Division we can put together, and I think I will start moving these guys this way. And try, Yeah, let's take that road. Can he move over one more? No, unfortunately not. Okay. Uh... Oh, I forgot. I've got this big Panzer Division back here, too. Um... 
I'm tempted to knock one of these out, but I, I don't I don't want to lose a lot of tanks in the heavy woods and in the marsh. Instead, I'm going to move this guy here to protect these units moving out here. All right. I mean, so we could get all the way here and maybe cross. We don't know what that is. Do we dare scout that? Eh, I don't think it's necessary. Let's bring this here. Then there we go. We can get all the way there. So we, we made it to where we wanted to make it. Now he's got a unit on this side. This should have enough zone of control. Oh shit, I've still got this guy too. Uh I don't want these guys to get isolated out here, certainly. So let's bring him around the corner. I guess I could put all these together, really. Um, I could put him there. He can't back up now. I'm not sure he's going to have enough to bring over here to, like, really pressure us that much. This guy... Oh, I'm tempted to hit that, but I... I think these are all bad decisions. I, I think I'll just leave it like that. Uh, if I scoot back, I mean, we've got a nice wide corridor. We've got a lot of stuff through here. And now, next turn, we've got a lot of infantry that can come on the line. We can, you know, go further. I think we can... Uh, we'll see. Because when I'm looking at the map earlier, I actually think I want to come up this way from the south. So... All right, uh, it's happening. It's happening. Yeah, the rail is cut, uh, so that will help, you know, as far as freight that's moving to the west. Uh, yeah, we got to, well, I know we got to fight through, but I think in the north we're in great shape. I, that's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the south. Uh, and I agree, Kalo, just attack if they're in our direct path, but we can always, you know, make little twists and turns now that we're out here. Uh, I don't like that. I'm afraid he's going to get isolated. Um, every time I say don't do this, I, I really kind of want to hit that though. Well, I wanted to get on this rail and we did. I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to move him there. I just can't get him unstuck. Is there anybody else I can get up there or over there? Not really. I don't have any more motorized back here, I don't think. Let's get von Monstein down here with his guys. Well, I've got enough down here that even if these guys were to get slightly isolated for a turn, I think that's all right. I think that's all right. I think this Panzer Division will have enough zone of control he can't get through here. Now, the problem is, is this guy is probably going to move here, but... I I sort of want him to do that, to be honest with you. If he moves this way, yeah, he could isolate these guys by getting into this hex, uh, but he'll get out of my way. So, I, I mean, maybe I want him to move that way. Uh, we've got two full Panzer divisions there. This all looks good, certainly. Uh, we could even try a little attack there if we wanted to get cheeky, but I'm not going to. Uh, motorized, we've got all this held back. This all looks great. Uh, this may, I don't know. I'm glad we made it to the rail line. We cut the major rail. If I get a regiment of tanks out here isolated for one turn, it's certainly not the end of the world. Uh, okay, let's go back here and make sure, now that 
is a secondary rail unit. Let's make sure there's nothing else. We've cleaned all that. These guys will be moving to the line. We'll go straight for Gomel. This this year, we're going straight for Gomel with 2nd Army. No, no screwing around with that. Um, you know, obviously, there's another potential pocket here. Once we link up, he'll probably start dropping back, though. Um... Okay, I, I don't think there's really too much else to do. Maybe I'll move Hubei. Nah, Hubei looks good. All right, I'm really pleased with how the north has turned out. Down here, looking at the map, I think we've got to come up this road and try to link right there. Now, we may, we may bring the guys from the north over, especially if this moves, or we may just attack that next time and try to jump the river. Uh, we'll see. He may also attack directly across the river there. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, okay, so I've already moved some of these guys around. I think everything's looking good down here. We've got a 4 and 14 there. He could actually go into that hex. Let's do that. So we cut across. Oh, shit. I forgot, though. There's that rifle core there. All right. Well, I'm going to back him back across the river. Uh, if that rifle core is going to attack, I want him to attack across the river. So let's keep scooting down right behind this river. There's no reason to jump over it until all of these guys are out of you know, out of supply. So we may as well just stay behind it. Now, the problem is you do have things like this. I would like to move up a little bit. But I want to make sure I can keep sliding down because these guys are eventually who's going to have to take back Brest-Litovsk. Uh, obviously, we're not going to attack there. We have no movement points to attack there. 5 and 13. He gets there with 7 left. Okay, that works for me because then I want to attack... Five and seven, right. Okay, let's attack there with both of... I don't want all three. The guy with 11 left, let's take him out of the attack. Be very careful as I move back. There we go. And we blow that back. Excellent. Okay, so that was 2,300 men. That's good. Uh, scooch, scoochy, scoochin'. Right down the map. Now let's bring the uh, headquarters down here a little ways. So everybody's in command. Yeah, this rifle corps is out here on an island. You know, I mean, really, he's got nowhere to go. I just don't want him to obliterate a division on his, on his way. Uh, four and seven. So this guy has a little juice left. Let's try to hit that unit, see what happens. All right, we get it to step back. Uh, 681, we only took 24 losses. We'll certainly take that. Now let's take the division with 16 movement. Put him there. I hate to give up that in deep woods, but we can't cover everything. Uh, 12 points. Is this a rifle core, I assume? Yeah, we've got a rifle corps there, but I think we can surround him from three directions and try to take him out. Although, why take him out if he's going to be out of freight soon? Or we hope he's going to be out of freight soon. Okay, now we've got, you know, we've scooted down at least two hexes all the way around. Next time in, we'll bring these guys over here. And we can scoot a lot further. And these guys can be down by Brest-Litovsk. And maybe even start pushing a little bit, you know, to threaten this bunch. Um, all right. Let's take Italians. Now, the Italians are far and away our stronger troops down here. And so I think we got to be a little strategic uh, what we do with them. We could put them up here. By breast, but really I want them straight in front of Warsaw. So maybe I do leave this Hungarian core up here. This, uh, we're, these are the Hungarians, the mobile, the armor. Let's triple stack Hungarians. 
Never say that at a party. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so we've got triple stacked Hungarians, including armor. Will it will it work? Who knows? Um, now then, though, I do think we can put this guy there. Oh, wow. They can get all the way back around over here. All right, so we're going to triple stack more Hungarians, and I think we're just going to have to give up Lublin for the time being anyway. Uh, I don't see any way to hold it, not really. Um, let's put them there, and actually let's scoot these guys. Uh, I can't scoot them. Shoot. Okay, fine. Um... All right, now he can move to this side of the, this river. Let's get the Italian command around here. Again, this is all just about hanging on and, you know, hanging on to Warsaw. Uh, I wish he could get in there, although these don't look very strong. And let's go ahead and take a shot at that. That's a cavalry unit. All right, we knocked that back. Oh, hell, maybe I should have stayed in Lublin. That's a rifle core. I am going to scoot up there. So I'm in a fort level, and he's got to attack across the river. And I am going to scoot these Italians up. I like that better. And then we've got this Italian unit that's coming in here as well that we railed all the way from, you know, like Kiev. Uh, we'll get all this back. I'm going to move this Italian up here just kind of behind the line. Uh, what is this? Al Alpini IT? Okay. Let's put that in there. Okay. Uh, hold on, Romanians. You got this. Okay. Let's go there. There. Let's move these Italians. They could help here or they could help down here. Uh, Hungarians move forward. As always, the Hungarians always moving forward. Um, Let's put this, I think I can scoot Germans over. Uh, that's, part of, that's part of my indecision here. So I'm trying to figure out where to put these Italian units. I, I may put them up here by Warsaw. I mean, ultimately, I mean, I don't want him to take Krakow either, but I, I can get the Germans over here. If he's going to push this way, I mean, uh, do I want him in lots? Uh, no, but we've got, hopefully we'll spring this trap like next turn. We'll see. Uh, okay, Italians, up you go. And then we'll uh, move the Hungarian, the other Hungarians, these Hungarians, down next turn and put them in this silly-looking line. All right, uh, let's move you, Germans. Let's get him across the river. Let's get the headquarters up here. Let's try to attack this unit, knock them back a little bit. Hey, see ya! 1548, thanks for visiting. Okay, we got a little hole there, but that's all right. Let's uh, move this command up by Warsaw. This headquarters, we can move up here by Warsaw. We'll just let the Italians take the center of the line. I like that. Okay, moving up there. Now then, do we need to move in here? I mean, maybe. He's got a straight shot at Krakow, but tell you what, I think I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to move this German unit up here. We're going to nutcracker and try to blow that out of there. Okay, 26, 12, 75 on the guns. I like that. And then I think I can move him there. 
I'll just leave him there. Here they would have to cross a river, and he's going towards what? You know, is going to capture the mountains? Sure, go for it, buddy. Uh, now then, let's get moving this way. Got to get the headquarters back in in Rizhao Zhao. Uh, you guys in Eastern Europe probably laughing your ass off at that pronunciation. How do you pronounce that? Uh, well, I guess Rezhev. So it'd be Rezhao, Rezhao. I, I just said that like I know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, who's celibate, Anthony? Not certainly not Italians I know. Um, with no dispensation from the Pope. My wife looked over at me like, what are you talking about? Um, <laughs> what kind of stream is this, buddy? Uh, all right. Uh, we've got Romanians down here. We could do something with the Romanians. That didn't seem appropriate after the conversation we were just having. Uh, we could... We could actually even take the Romanian. Oh, don't forget, we've got Italians on the train. Um, where do we want to take them? Oh, they can get off the train at Warsaw, or close to Warsaw. They could even go up into this area. Okay. Oh, uh, I forgot. What do I have, like, three units here? All right, let's take the cavalry unit. Okay, he has to go into Warsaw. That's about the only place. Well, he could get off the train at Krakow, right? Yeah, let's do that. All right, so he'll go to Krakow. Uh, get off the train. He's still got a few movement points. Yeah, he does. All right. We'll get him up here by the road network, so next time he can fly. Uh, all right, so that's one group of the Italian reinforcements. And then we'll bring this one. What area was I worried about? Or what area did I say there's two? Well, right here is one of them. This will allow me to release the Hungarians next time. Uh, release the Hungarian hounds! Um, but that's as far as he can go and still get off the train. So let's take him off the train. He's 8 of 9. Uh, I also have 12th Italian Corps back here. What's he... Okay. Uh, I'll reorganize the Italians offline. Uh, I think I, I've got their headquarters and stuff a little bit off uh let's take this headquarters into um warsaw we'll take that off the train oh i've still i've got a couple of guys trying to rebuild back here yeah we'll just let them sit there for another turn okay uh let's keep going yeah, I've got this German division down. Now, I think that's a rifle corps. No, it's still a rifle division. I love to guess that things are rifle corps. I'm right about half the time. Uh, we may attack out of this. Yeah, we've got some spaces here, certainly, but I, I think that's okay. Let's try with four divisions, including Romanians, to knock him back. Ooh, 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 that was ugly. Okay, uh, well, that didn't work quite as well as planned. I think at this point, I may actually just take... Yeah, I'm going to let him sit there for one more turn, but I'm going to get the Romanians out of here. Don't let me forget about that rail unit right there. All right, let's try to hit out of Lvov. We do drive him back a little bit. And then what I think I'm going to do, how, he's got six points here. I'm going to scoot this line down just slightly. I think it'll help because we can knock that back. That's a little better. Okay, now then we can take this guy. We'll put him right there. We'll have to scoot over a hex. That's fine. We'll put this guy here. We've still got... Now, we don't want to leave Tarnapol wide open, certainly. So we may have to start you know, coming back this way next time. But for the moment... Uh, do, 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 do. 
do, do. I think we have some extra units over here. I'll come back to that. Do not let me forget about Tarnapol, and don't let me forget about this rail unit out here. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm just going to repair these, just, just in case you let me forget. Uh, done. Okay, that rail is done. Now, I don't know where I want him to go next. Let's look at the rail... Uh, we're going to have to start cleaning up some of this stuff, certainly. We got stuff down here to clean. Let's clean up some of this right here. So, due southeast of where we are. This hex was the one I looked at. Okay, well, we'll just have to get on the rail and rail him over there next time. So, let's get on the rail down here. And we'll get it over here and try to clean that up. Uh, oh yeah, what do we, what do we got going on over here? Well, that's not a whole lot. Let's hit that unit, blow that out of there, and I think that's how we'll take care of this down here by Tarnapol, which is, I'll move the Romanians up here where there doesn't seem to be anything, for now anyway, and I'll move this division over... Uh, damn, if he was just over one more hex, it would all work. Do I bring the Romanians over here, maybe? Eh. Maybe, maybe. I just don't want him to get a straight shot on Tarnapol. So I guess I'm going to move him there for the time being. And if they move down through... Well, there's a road there, though. I may have to bring one of these guys over. We'll, we'll get there in a second. All right. Let's hit that unit. We blow it out of there. That's 2,000 men. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't look like there's anything out here, which I know is mistaken. I, there's something out here, but I, I guess I'm just going to leave that as is for now. Uh, he's in four or five. All right, the headquarters actually has to move. Uh, now he's out. Well, that's okay. Um, four of eight. Let's hit that unit. We knock that back. This is thinning out. I don't know if he's pulling things back over this way, but it's certainly thinned out over here. I mean, we've also ab absolutely devastated and routed a lot of units back into that swamp. Whoops, that would be a hasty. I don't want to do that. Okay, as we get up here, now we got to start thinking about the Panzers. I originally was bringing him up this way, but he's kind of constricted this. And looking at the map again, this area looks very weak. And I think we can just take a nice Sunday afternoon drive up here to meet. Probably not. Probably not. Um... Repair Kiev! Uh, yeah, CJ, I, I don't think we have any actual rail going into Kiev that works right now, but yeah, for sure. Um, the girl from Krakow. Wow, that sounds like a thriller, CJ. Uh, I'm not going to send uh, the Italians into Cuba. I'm just not going to do it. Kuban, where is that? Um, all right, let's attack right into that. Let's try to blow that armor out, and we do. He loses 41 of his AFVs there. So, I mean, we've got a couple of different ways we could potentially come up here. Um, he's on the east side of the river. Who? What's going to be the best way to organize this? Well, I think the best way to do it is to either go on this road or go on this road. So, hmm. let's take this motorized and this infantry and try to knock this out all right we knock it back 
I would have preferred that we knocked it completely out, but we didn't. Uh, now let's take this motorized and move it here and take both of them with a deliberate attack and try to move that. All right, that goes flying out of there. 1151, and, we, you know, we're starting to get a little hole dug here. Uh, we could hasty that, but I don't think a hasty makes sense. It's too important that we move that. This unit... Let's attack there, because that should be a victory. Unless he's a lot... Okay, Adios, that completely shattered. 1695. It says routed, but it, it's gone. Uh, now, let's move this infantry here. We really got to make sure this moves. We, if we can move this and this, we got we got the Southern Autobahn. Um... I've got an infantry division here. Ooh, I've also got an infantry division here that went back and rebuilt. Okay, well, that makes that decision a lot easier. Uh, let's take these two and hit that. Okay, I'm glad we did that. Now, we got that 12 to 1. I don't know why he didn't go flying, but... All right, we can't move those anymore. Can't really move him. We've got this, and we've got what I call a free agent infantry over here as well. Can he get around the corner here? He can. Do I want him to, though, is the question. All right, the next order of business is to get rid of this that's sitting right on the road. And as you can see, we're starting to get what? To quote the Dixie Chicks wide open spaces, um... Wish these guys weren't double stacked, really. I'm going to go ahead and move this division here. Because I, I, I'm pretty sure I definitely want him there. This division I could either put over here, or I could put like here, or here, I guess. Because I'm going to do the old rock the boat. Eh, I'll think about that one. Um, still got some guys with movement points out here. Let's move you potentially there and him there. Eh, doesn't really matter. Let's move that there. Oh, there was a unit there. Okay. Um, let's do this. Let's bring around a motorized. This one's strong. Let's bring him right there. Let's take these two. And I'm not going to chance it. I'm going to do a deliberate attack. Oh, did he not move? Shoot. Okay. Well, that changes things. Uh, let's get another motorized over here. There's one. Hmm. He's still got 21 movement points left. Let's actually move the Panzer Division up here. And can these two both do a deliberate? Let's see. Yeah. Let's let's throw the Panzer Division into it. Now we lose five tanks. Uh, it's a lot of delay points there, but none over here. And now we're we're now we're looking at three wide. Let's move the motorized into that hex. Okay. Infantry's got to stay here. The Panzer Division can start getting out here a little bit. We don't know what that is. I'm not going to hit that yet. Two of three. This motorized can move there. The infantry... Well... Tell you what, I'll put the infantry there. Okay, we're almost, we've almost got a little breakthrough here. We got to move that. Luckily, we've got plenty of motorized back here. He can get to that hex with 18 to go. Okay, let's wait. Uh, let's try to do this with two motorized. I really want this to move. And let's get the headquarters over here. 
Let's just stack it right on top of the infantry. We'll take the other headquarters. He's going to be coming over here too, so let's just stack that there. Uh, both of these guys, deliberate. Move! Yeah, there we go. All right, now we've got headquarters routed. This may be a strong unit, but I, I will see. Uh, you go there. Okay, that is a guards unit. We'll have to move that at some point, or we'll have to just go around this way. If we look up, you know, we're coming straight north at you guys. Uh, now, let's grab these panzers. We could try to come through here, but it's really bad terrain. It's heavy woods, a lot of weird terrain out here. It's the swamps, whatever else. Let's bring that Panzer Division up. Oh, look at that open up. My goodness. Man, that's sexy. Uh, let's bring that Panzer Division up. Let's take the two of them because I think if I can move this, we're we're playing we're playing. Adios. Two tanks, fifty three, sixty three, and now we we'll, I I think we're on the fly here. Let's see. All right, no, no. All right, up and around you come, my friend. <laughs> Okay, now this guy can't get very far, but that's fine. I mean, he'll just sit back here and kind of rest for a turn. Uh, I would like to get him on the road if I can. Or can I put him there? No, I can't. Eh, I'd like to get him right there. Can I move the infantry over? No, can't move you, can't move you. This guy's got more movement points. Um... Okay, that road kind of ends there. We're going to have to go this way, and we're going to have to go through some heavy woods, potentially, but we'll have a lot of options. I mean, even if we have to go across the swamp to meet up. All right, so I'm going to bring him there. Got another unit out there. I'm not going to attack into it, though. 245. This guy's got 17. It would still be too wide, even if I take him up and out here. I want to widen this out a little bit. Uh, I don't want him... Well, I, he can't isolate anything out here unless he would actually blow something away. So let's move that up this way just to widen this out. Okay. Let's take this regiment there. Just see what we're dealing with. Okay, that's a two. That's awesome. All right. Uh, we could try to widen that. Here, there. I'd like him to be across the river, so let's do that. And we've kind of scattered a bunch of this stuff. Now, I wish I had something in that hex. Can we get something in there? Uh, is everybody in command? This guy can't quite get there. I can get him there. Yeah, I can't quite get him there. Used a lot of movement points there. A lot of fuel. No. I do have an infantry, but I can't get him into that hex. Hmm. All right. Well, this infantry, actually, I'm going to move here. Let's move this headquarters over. Uh, and then this guy. I'm going to just put just north of Kiev up here. I'm going to start trying to expand out if we can. Let's take both of these guys and uh, do a deliberate there. See if we can push them out of Brovery. Madam Brovery. Um, okay, that looks good. Let's take these gents and try to attack there. We route that out, 1414. All right, so let's scoot back for a minute. 
Uh, I think we can do it next turn. We'll see. We've got all of our guys out there. I'm just reading comments here for a second. Yeah, we're heading for the deep woods. Uh, no, the whole point's not cutting the rail, actually. Um, the whole point is having these meet up. I mean, I'm trying to isolate everything out here. It's got to be at least, I mean, at one time it was probably 100 divisions. Now he's got some over here, so it's probably closer to 80. Uh, but I'm getting all, everything I can over here because I'm going to try to isolate all of it. Uh, we'll see. I mean, you can cut the rail, and that's fine, and they will degrade, but it's a lot slower than if you actually get them into an isolated state. And so I'm trying to get them all isolated. Um, I, I, yeah, I could step out here and cut the... Okay, if you guys want me to do that, there we go. Uh, we've cut the rail. Now, men could have come down here, or could not have come down here, but freight could have. And so, you know, if this guy gets isolated, well, it's... It's the Netherlands motorized SS. It's 2,100 men. That's fine. Okay, so now we've cut the, cut the rail. I could also scoot these guys out and kind of widen this out potentially, but I don't want him to get too far away from anything. I'm almost tempted to bring him back here. I'll leave him there. That puts a zone of control that's hard for them to get through. Same here. He's probably going to fall back, but we've now cut that rail. And yet one step closer, If I mean, we're so close to completely isolating, you know, how many ever divisions that is, plus whatever he's got out here. We've probably routed 30 or 40 divisions out into the middle of this thing over the turns. Now, some of those have obviously uh, recuperated, but we, we've routed a lot. Okay, gentlemen. No, I don't think I could have done it this turn. Uh, up in that area, because I would have had to try to bowl my way through here, um, and I was up next against the river, I thought it was better to come back here because there's at least some roadway back here. Now, I, you know, the roadway here goes up towards Chernigov. Well... I couldn't get to Chernigov from here. As far as I could get, I think I got as far as you could have possibly gotten in the north this turn. In the south, yeah, you could say, well, I was here. I could have just gone here. That looks so easy. But he's masked here. By the time I fight my way through all of that, which we could have, but by the time I did, did that, we're maybe like here, uh, but with a lot more resistance, I think. Now we're straight up this road, and I think next turn, we will certainly connect this. Now, the problem is, is keeping it connected because he's going to be trying to shoot the gap, right? So we'll see. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Who knows? Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. This was a long one today, hour and a half. Look at that bonus content. Uh, I think we're looking good. I think we're looking good. I mean, the whole key is if we can close that uh, right there, uh, it'd be very hard for the Soviets to recover from that. I mean, uh, that's, you know, I don't know how many men it could end up being, but it's probably well north of a million. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Remember when we were going to take Moscow on turn 15? That was all your guys' fault. Anyway, Strategy Game of Dojo. See you tomorrow, 10 a.m. Oh, lost the screen. Okay, okay. Uh, lost the screen. Let's do it. Uh, map info, info screens, loss of screen, 166 to 40 uh, at this point. Soviet's about to get up to 7 million. Um, again, thank you so much. I'll talk to you tomorrow.